All right, so like many of us, I'm feeling the the isolation right now and uh, I'm lucky enough where I'm living I'm still able to get out for road rides mountain bikes not happening so toss on the lake for the next couple months and uh, gonna stick to the streets now a lot of people I've been seeing have been hopping over all the barriers on the rail trail which is driving me absolutely nuts because I would love to ride those trails too but that's not happening right now hey man it's closed Buddy, it's closed. If you want some good gravel, there's plenty to be found. It's still a road, I can still use it. If you're in the Hamilton area, just go out in the country. You're gonna find tons of gravel without going on those trail systems, hopping over barriers. But uh, I figured I'd take you around some of my regular loop here. Um, try and change it up a little bit every single time I get out. But uh, this time I'm taking Mineral Springs at the Slope Road. Plenty of gravel there. Um, in my regular route, I generally go down the Flamborough Hill and I'm gonna change it up, make it a little bit longer today since it's nice, it's Easter weekend. Get up to Sydenham Hill, climb that, and then back down Valley Road, up Wilson, back home. Should be like a 36, 40K ride, somewhere in around that range, but uh, can't complain. All right, let's head out. the rail trail anywhere right now we're just use the opportunity to get on google maps and find new routes out of the country so i did and uh it reminded me about this little section of gravel it's fairly short but but sweet see a few things i haven't seen before Yeah, just do us all a favor and don't ruin riding. Don't make them crack down more than they have to. Because you want to go for a gravel ride on rail trail, which is like, maybe not amazing in the first place. See, if you're a little creative, you can always find gravel. Even if it's at the side of a road, you can get it. Did I mention how freaking nice it is today? It's Easter Sunday. It's saying it was supposed to be 13 degrees Celsius and raining all day. The rain got pushed back to tonight. I had the bike ready to go on the trainer and hell no.
right, so I just turned left on a Crooks Hollow here. This is a super nice little section that uh, borders the uh, Spencer Creek Adventure. Basically, if you're not from around here, it's just a little a decent sized river. And Christie Conservation. Hey there. Hi. Descent. So last year I had a pretty big spill just down the street from my house and had pretty bad road rash. Smashed my iPhone. Lost about three weeks of work. It sucked. It would suck even more if that were to happen now. So I mean, I'm just taking it easy. If I see a loose corner, I slow right down. Loose corners and road riding scare me more than mountain bikes. So these on mountain bikes, you got that lower tire pressure to recover. Right now I'm running, again, 32 seat tires at max tire pressure at 80 PSI. So there's no room for forgiveness if you slide out on a corner. And sliding out on a corner happens so easily. Especially with all of the winter salt and sand that's been laid out to, funnily enough and ironically enough, provide traction in the wintertime. Takes it away as soon as that snow and ice is gone. Heading for some more gravel. tools in the tool bag a little bit loose. That was a hard hit though. So we're about to head up Sydenham Hill. It's also known as Claire's Climb because the world famous gold medalist in the Olympics, Claire Hughes, actually used this as a training climb. It's uh, average grade is about 8%. Pretty sure it gets steeper in sections, but uh, it's a tough climb. So when you get up to the top, it's, it's worth the view. All right, so this climb pretty well starts off right away in the grainy gear. Just gotta grind it out. Yeah, I'm going so fast, my speed doesn't even register. One more gear would be great. <laughs> So once you get to the top of the Sitton Hill climb, you actually get a gorgeous view of the uh, Sitton Ham lookout. So it's, uh, if you can make it up, it's worth the climb. Definitely, uh, definitely recommended if you're stuck inside for the rest of the day. Get out and see the sights if you can. Obviously, depending on where you're at, you may not be able to, but uh, I've still got about 25K left in my ride, so I better get moving. So I've ridden 21.25 kilometers. I'm hitting an hour 
mile mark right now. A couple breaks to uh, stop and talk to you guys. First time I've done this variation of my regular route though. So like I said, just change it up as much as possible. But sticking close to home. We're out in the country, lots of space. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully that killed about 15 minutes of your day. You virtually got outside if you couldn't get outside and uh, yeah, leaves are starting to grow. I'm seeing some flowers coming out, so uh, better days are ahead. We can at least sit on the porch, on the balcony, in your backyard. But uh, I gotta finish up this ride, so thanks so much for joining me, like I said. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I got more stuff coming for you, so uh, stay tuned.